Yo guys, what is going on? Blossom is back. Welcome back to another episode of Tab Drives. We only have just about eight hours left until these offers expire. And I gotta say, I did not expect the 4th of July offers to come this hard because I did not save gold. So honestly, I'm not opening the big boy offers. I mean, this pack is massive. I've seen, you know, a couple people on my server open this pack. And I mean, like for corn, for example, getting like five legendaries. It's insane. I mean, it's it's 20% chance at legendary from card one to card 13. If I had enough gold to open this, I would have. I did not expect the 4th of July to come with offers this freaking big. I've never seen packs like this ever before. We've had a multiple, I mean, I've been, I've been playing this game for seven years, right? I've seen years and years and years of Black Friday and they just get bigger and bigger and bigger. And this is the biggest one yet, right? I mean, it's 50% off. 13 uh you know epic titaniums i mean it's 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 just crazy um honestly like some people might even say that it's it's too crazy that it's not crazy anymore it takes the sting out of it you know like you know back then people used to be you know fighting for just one titanium and now you can get 13 for 50 percent of the price it's, it's ridiculous look i want to save some gold um so i'm gonna keep my account above 10,000 gold but i can keep my account above 10,000 gold and still open the eight times carbon fiber so although i'm not opening the big biggest of the biggest i'm saving up gold so i can open the biggest of the biggest because the part the, the sales if, if, even if you miss out on this one the, the sales are just gonna get bigger and bigger and they're gonna come back all right just think about black friday that's in november a couple months from now like at the end of the year they're probably gonna do an end of the year christmas sale they're gonna do a new year sale probably something like that so i'm gonna say what uh, best of both worlds i think this is a great deal it's 49% off eight carbon fibers. I've opened five times carbon fibers for prices close to this. Uh, so I will take my chances. I will take my chances. It's an eight time carbon fiber. Let's get it. Three, two, one, boom. No going back. You press the button. <laughs> you press the button. Eight times carbon fiber. Let's see what we're going to get from this uh, 4th of July offer. Obviously, we opened those like two time offers and we got an epic from every single one of them, which was really nice. Uh, we got ourselves the TBR Griffith, I think the Viper GTSR, and, and one other car, Camaro SSX, which is all really, really cool. Let's see if we can one-up that. Usually, five-time carbon fibers, especially when you just started playing top drives, like back in, like, you know, 2017, 2018, that used to be the end-all, be-all pack, right? So, the fact that this is an eight times, and it's known as the mid-pack offer, it's, it's, it's surreal. I don't know if it's good, I don't know if it's bad, I don't know if it's nice, or I don't know if it's sad that this is the standard of packs that are in the store now. Um, but we've got, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, 57! Okay, 57 already. That's a big jump. That's a big jump, and that's a good card to start. Lavorg. You know what? Usually it's always the case. Big jump, then they give me like three 57s in a row. So that's one, two, three. It's all going up. Four. And there you go. Two of the same car. Five. Okay, we did we didn't all want that. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay, so there's only one card left. So, let's see what it's gonna be. Nine, I'll take it. Mercedes AMG GLE 63S. It is a legendary. We got it for literally half the price. I mean, that was a fantastic offer. Nice, <laughs> I'll take that, I, I will take that. So at least we got, we got something out of those 4th of July offers, right? I don't wanna spend any more of my gold. I do wanna save it up for, you know, future, uh, you know, future uh, updates, I guess. Um, or, or future events, but hey, you know, eight times carbon fiber. We've got an extra ultra rare, and we got a legend. You know, it's a duplicate legend, so you know, not not much of a a, a reaction to that. And, and people still think that some of my you know exuberant reactions are fake. That's not the case. I I, I just I react like that when I get a card that I want. But yeah, AMG Jelly 63S. Last time I got that, probably like a year and a half ago when Beamer was here uh, from a ceramic pack, right? Something like that. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Ultra rares, nothing, nothing that I really wanted to be honest. Just a couple of, you know, bing bongs, fuse material. Cool, anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna pair this video with, but I'm just gonna move on to the next clip. 
Yes, and we have gone from one pack to the next daily reward. I mean, I'm recording this video, I think about a week, like almost an entire week since that legendary clip. But we have another ceramic pack to open and let's see if we get anything good. Also, I'll be showing you my hand for the Tri-Series final that's going to end in a couple of hours. Now, I do hope that the uh, the race goes through. It will be really sad if I just started recording and the game is already loading. All right, well, I've been loading for like five minutes. Look, as you can see, there's a connection error. You know, your connection with the game has been lost. You will now be returned to the start screen. Ah, oh, what a great, what a great start to the video, man. Okay, we're back. Let's see how that went. Did we finish the challenge? No, okay, well, we've got no hell cars in the garage, which means that, yeah, the daily reward just never. All right, we will try this one more time. This ceramic pack better be worth the wait. Oh my goodness. Okay, put the hands in. Now the races are going through, which is nice. Uh, so we'll go all the way there. I mean, no surprise, right? We're gonna win this pretty easily by how much? I'll say 2,100. No, no, it wasn't close. 1,390. All right, ceramic pack. Were you worth it? Because we had stared at that loading screen for like forever, uh, and then the game crashed and we had to log back in. So, uh, all that work for, I mean, the rare is good. So maybe the super rare is good or something better. Oh, yeah, you know what? Worth it. Kind of, kind, of, kind of worth it. You know what? A Ford Mustang. GT power pack. Yeah, I knew you just I was gonna look up Mustang. Uh, yeah, RQ62 ultra rare. I'll take, I'll take that. I'll take that. It's an ultra that I've been looking for for a very long time. If this was like, uh, what, what was the tag that this was part of? If it was back then, like a couple of months ago, but obviously we got it already, so you can see it's one owned. But I guess if I was a Ford collector, that'd be a pretty decent car to get in like multiple, I guess, like a duplicate, like I could drag spec that one maybe. Tell you what though, we, we, we could. I don't know if I can get the racing objectives done in time. I've, I've not started today, really. Uh, I don't even know if I can get the racing objective uh, page uh, or, or pack in that video, but we go to, um, not challenge, but single player, because we do have enough renown, purple points, to see if we can get a 10% chance at another ultra rare i wouldn't mind that at all uh so here we go hand is all save already the last time i did this we actually did get the 10 percent. i'm not sure if that was recorded or not. Yeah, yeah it was recorded it was uh it was in my most recent stream we got a 10 percent ah not this time just a nissan sylvia rip let's have a look at fused material counts because we do have a tri-series final coming up or actually ongoing right now like ending pretty soon actually haven't joined yet uh collections and tags no it's uh, status status unlocked rarity you got 129 fused ultra rares 150 fused epics that's that's a give or take number though because there's some, you know, cars in here that could become projects, like a second Corvette Stingray, a second Taycan GTS, a second Exige Cup, a second Exige V6. Like, they're, they're good cars here, uh, but I like to keep everything unlocked if I don't have it fully upgraded. So, just to give you a little, uh, I guess, insight of what my hand might be looking like for the MI EV Evolution. It's not terrible, but it's not good. So, I'm running the Aruf RT12S, the Nissan Nismo Z, the Koenigsegg. No, I don't think I'm running the Koenigsegg. I think I'm running the Porsche. I think it's like it's the Honda Legend. I think I'm using the Honda Legend, and I'm using like uh, another medium ground clearance. I think the Auto Delta. I think this is the, the hand that I'm using. So like one epic, two ultra rares, and two legends. I mean, it's it's a never a good sign if I have to end up using like more than one ultra or even just one ultra in a final hand. But I guess on the good side, on the good news, this is a fully upgraded epic which I used in a previous tri series, so I don't need to spend any ultra rares on this. Um, Nissan Nismo has one upgrade into it, so it handles a little better than the others. And the Roof RT12 has two upgrades into it. And I don't mind skipping the fuse on those legends. Basically, it's always like I either have the epics and I miss out on the legends, or I have the legends and I miss out on everything else. And in this case, you know, what would really seal the deal is if I could replace an Auto Delta uh, with the Impreza. If I had the Impreza, that would seal the deal. If I had the Lancer Evo 8, that would be pretty decent as well. The Subaru Impreza, I wouldn't say I, I want it. I don't think it will seal the deal. I would say one of these two cars. Obviously, we've reviewed the pack, so I know how the hierarchy of cars worked. It's really just the Impreza or the Lancer or your bust. Uh, or actually, the, the Mitsubishi Lancer WRC would be better as well. Basically, the perfect hand is if I could replace these two Ultra Rares. So I'll bring in the Subaru Impreza to replace the Honda Legend. And I would bring in the Mitsubishi Lancer to replace the Auto Delta. So th those will be the, the, the big moments, the big changing moments. But uh, I'm not going to be opening any more packs. I mean, I'm, I'll see what I can get with my current hand. 
Uh, after all, this is a prize car that is, you know, it's not worth winning, I would say. It's just okay. We're gonna jump into the Japanese standard, though. Um, and uh, this is the current hand that I'm using. So we're bringing back the Honda Legend, and this is a pretty interesting event because we get to use cars that we don't usually get to use. That's mainly attributed to these on-road tracks that's over here, but you are, you know, required to use standard tires no matter what. So I'm using cars like the Infiniti Q70 Hybrid and the Nissan SEMA VIP, cars that I barely use, 87 total races in about two years. The uh, Hybrid 64 races in about the same time. And this is a fantastic event for, you know, the Infiniti M56, a car where I feel like a lot of people kind of just forget exist, you know? Um, so it's, it's nice that these kind of events are going on, but it wouldn't entice me to fully upgrade that Epic. Like if I had that, you know, rear wheel drive Epic, you know, one event for a double ceramic or whatever it is, wouldn't be enough to entice me to fully, to, to spend 15 ultra rares uh, to fully upgrade that epic. Like I, like I said, every time these epics, you know, they need the replayability. I need to know that my investment is going to be worth it and that I can use this epic time in and time out. Like, at least give me the, the, the clarification that I'll be using it maybe once a month. Then, then maybe I'll consider if I, if I use it once a month for a year, it might be worth my 15 ultra rares. But for one event, which is, you know, this is the, this event is basically, you know, you, you know, those videos that I make, the, my, uh, whatever call it, um, tier maker videos, right? And I have that rank that says literally the only option, like Hudge made it the only option. This is the event that I'm talking about. Like Hudge made it the only option for that Infinity M56 to be useful because we're in a situation where we have, you know, dry track sets and you are only allowed to use standard tires from Japan. It's really rare. I can't remember the last time we had an event like this where it was standard tires and Japan only and it was dry. And I don't know when the next time we will have an event like this. And that's why, you know, there's so many ultras which I just don't have the, I, I don't have the confidence in fully upgrading and the M56 is one of those. So although I kind of like these kind of events because they kind of showcase the underdogs, if you will, it's still not enough for me to actually fully upgrade the underdogs. Like the ultra rares, sure. I am using ultra underdogs. I don't think a lot of players will have like the Q70 or the, the SEMA VIP fully upgraded. Obviously, if you're a more advanced player, you might have it, but like, let's say you have to fully upgrade one of three cars. You can only choose to upgrade the Honda Legend, the Infinity, or the Nissan SEMA VIP. And you can only, you were held at gunpoint, you can only do one. I think most players are gonna go for the, the, the Honda Legend, all right, and, and rightly so. Uh, okay, let's go for another one here. We've got one zero to 120, zero to 130. Oh, maybe we'll strip that. I mean, these two are, I mean, this car is the better one for the drags if you don't own the Epic, which I do not. Anyway, it's all gonna be, you know, three stars, it looks like. I mean, the, uh, the opponents seem pretty simple so far, but then again, there are only like four people in here. Skip match, 422 to zero. Thank you very much. One, two, three, and we should be doing one, ooh, three comments in a row. We will know this now, the middle row is all for comments and looks like we're cleaning out we're cleaning house basically uh because we are cleaning out the prize boards it's three stars five races there's no way that we're not gonna three star this let's be real right so mitsubishi lancer evolution uh rs there you go wins by 284 points i'm gonna say 1004 2002 okay i was a little closer than uh, my first guess earlier on in the video uh two rares okay there you go so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna sell the rares just a little cash you know and then i'm gonna add the commons and the uncommons because i need the fuse material to fully upgrade some gas collection cars. I'm currently working on the Vauxhall Tigra. Not a car that I want to work on necessarily, but it's more of a car that I need to work on because I feel like, you know, there's there's a wide variety of cars that you can use on the low end for Gaz's collection. And I don't have a lot of them because a lot of the cars in Gaz's collection use, utilizes OG British cars, right? Out of, out of 23, I only have 11. A lot of them are OG British cars, like the uh, Opel Manta GTE, the Vauxhall Cavalier, I mean, not this one, um, the Vauxhall Astra, the Ford Fiesta, like these are cars that were from the game from the start, which is nice to see that they get some love as well. Um, but seriously, man, out of 23 uh, uncommon, six of them are 20. Four, four of them are 21, so 10 out of 23, almost 50% uh, are, lower, are lower rarity uncommons. I mean, that's never going to be very fun. There's not a single 28 that you can use in Gaza's collection, but they're going to be a bunch of 20s, so you bet your ass they're going to be forcing you to use some of these uh, heaping piles of crap. But then again, 
kind of like keeping positive crap that shines a little bit because it's nice to see that you know these older cars are being useful for stuff as well yeah i mean i, I need i need to upgrade a lot of these cars the, the Vauxhall senator was one i did not have and i had to fully upgrade that uh recently uh currently working on the Vauxhall tigra i think some things well, let's look at the common collection yeah the common is gonna be rough dude uh i've got one two three four yeah i've got four cars this is gonna be this is gonna be rough because like if they give you a wide pool of cars to choose from they're gonna test that pool right you're gonna at least need maybe half maybe a little more than half of the collection um yeah that's not gonna be fun looking out for these cars and fully upgrading them and the thing is Hunch never made, yeah, I'm, I'm screwed. Like four commons, there's definitely gonna be like a common, uncommon where you have to use five commons. Um, but yeah, I mean, Hunch did not make it any more enticing to fully upgrade your commons. They just simply did not. Because look at the, look at the upgrades here. 30 rare or better, start fusing five rare or better. So now we're in a situation where you're being rewarded for upgrading a rare or better, but like the uncommons and the commons, it's just not worth it, you know? Like it's not even included in the racing, the daily objectives, the daily racing objectives like even if you upgraded them it's not gonna make any impact you're not gonna get awarded for it um and if anything that's the rarity that you want to focus on the most at least standing from a from an advanced player standpoint that's the rating that's the rating that we want to invest in the most or we should be being incentivized to invest in the most because like we're always going to upgrade the next ultra rare or the next super rare because you know these are cards that will win us events that mean something and commons and commons don't really make a change most of the time so I don't know, man. Like, I, I, it's not gonna be fun upgrading those cards for those for, for, for the event. Um, but I'm I'm slowly working with what I've got, what I've been unpacking from prize boards. We claim that one too. Is that 4K? Uh, not yet. Okay. If I can finish like one more challenge, I will be able to complete the racing pack. But that I'm I'm, I'm torn between win 15 uh, challenge matches, start fusing five rare or better cards, or win 25 event matches. I'm not sure if that's possible unless I join the final now, which I am not going to. Um, there is a daily event, but that won't be enough to push me towards the edge, so I think we call it today. We got a legend, which is a nice legend, uh, duplicate, but it is a Mercedes, so I'm happy with that. And we got a nice little ultra from our starter pack. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. Let me know down in the comments below if you are competing for the final or not. Remember to stay safe, wash your hands, and blossom out. Peace. Bro, this song just makes me so happy. <laughs> me too. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jetbox back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies. They so fine. Imagine being Asian in the 50s, looking nippy, leather jacket, looking sleek, look like Presley, look so deadly, got a jetbox back at home, feeling jazzy, turn it on and play it slow, like the movies with the ladies. They so fine. Sit back, relax in my Bonneville Pontiac. Hold tight all night, cruise to Jacksonville